All right, so I want to get into this video, and I want to get into this video quick, so let's start it off. We're going to be talking about Sprag Clutch or One-Way Bearing um, Starter Clutch. It has multiple different names, but we're going to be talking about its repair and how we're going to swap it out. I have an 821 Ducati Monster year 2015, and it's super hard to get uh, like any information on how to repair or even find any videos. So I'm going to show you what you guys need um, to make your life a lot easier. First, you need this workshop manual. This is going to show you how to repair. We're currently looking at it right now. If you see that little circular thing, that is the sprag uh, bearing or the sprag clutch. We're going to call it the sprag clutch in this video. All right. Now, another thing you're going to need is you're going to need the parts catalog. Now, when we scroll up, let's say I need the sprag, which is number 11. You see it right here, number 11. I go to the parts catalog and I look up, oh shit, it's number 11. So you see those digits right there? We have to we have to look those those up now. So let me just open up a new page. I'm gonna open up a window so I can show you guys how you guys could even look up parts because it's really complicated even finding like part numbers or like any of these codes. So now I'm gonna type in 701 404 118. And when I type that in, it's going to take me specifically to what I'm looking for, which is going to be the sprag bearing. So right now you can see that the sprag bearing is going for $137 on this website. But this is just a, st a start and basis on how to start looking up things for your motorcycle and how to make your life a whole lot easier. Now let's go back to the workshop menu. So I already have a sprag bearing that I bought on the internet and um, it already came in. So now what I have to do is I have to follow this guide and it's going to show me how to take it apart, specifically torque everything to its specific values. So just keep track of the workshop manual, the parts catalog, and the internet to find the parts that you need. And I promise you can do all these repairs in yourself, like at your house, and you're going to save a lot of money. Uh, that was pretty much the video. Thanks, Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to start monetizing these motherfuckers so I can get some shmoneys. So let me know if you like them, comment, whatever, or debate me, all that stuff. Let's go.